we're headed on a culinary adventure through the charming coastal town of Busurias, Mexico. On our recent trip, we found seafood, locally run hidden gems, and side street eateries. Busurias may be a small town, but when it comes to mouthwatering cuisine, it punches well above its weight class. We're starting with what was recommended to us as one of the best seafood restaurants here in Busurias. Marisco's Villa Real is located in Centro, just after you walk across the Kissing Bridge, and it's right by the market. It's only open for a lunch from 11.30 to 6 p.m. It's the classic plastic table and chair seating setup on the sidewalk, and it's quickly filled up by locals pretty much the whole time this place is open. We snagged one of the last tables, and we couldn't wait to dive in. Chris figured he would order a dozen oysters because he thought they'd be pretty small for the price point. Was he ever surprised when they came out almost as big as his head? I ordered the ceviche and we shared some classic salsa and chips. There are some vendors that stroll by, but I actually appreciated this because I ended up buying this coffee. It was so good. Once I smelled it, I couldn't not buy it. Overall rating for this place, everything was fresh, the portions were huge, and the service was phenomenal and really fast. For 12 oysters, a big order of ceviche and chips and salsa, our bill was 410 pesos, which is about $23 USD or 31 Canadian. Located in the heart of Centro, one block behind the plaza and across from Voodoo Monkey, we have Los Dorados for unreal birria tacos. This place is a hot spot for locals, and it's usually a stop on the walking taco tours. Everything is cooked outside on the street, and then you eat inside this shaded outdoor area. Birria is a Mexican dish that's really popular in this region. It's flavorful beef that's slow cooked in a rich and aromatic broth. The result is beef that's ultra tender and basically melts in your mouth. It's served taco style with soft tacos, crunchy style, or with cheese. And you cannot eat birria without an order of the consomme that it comes with. This meal right here is what locals say is the best cure for a hangover. I definitely recommend getting crunchy. We had six tacos and two consommes and it was 120 pesos, just under $7 USD and about $9 Canadian. El Porton is an authentic family-run restaurant serving home-cooked Mexican dishes. If you love mole sauce, this is the place for you. We're at El Porton, another breakfast spot. It is basically right on the highway, but it's actually not that loud because we're tucked away in this little courtyard. I really liked the rustic charm this place had. Okay, so I asked what the most popular dishes were and two of them are enmoladas and enfrioladas. They're both kind of similar. They each come with four of each, so he actually gave me two and two so that I could try both. Mexican enmoladas are essentially enchiladas covered in mole sauce, most often filled with chicken and crumbled cheese. And you can also add eggs if you want. Enfrioladas are much of the same, but with a black bean sauce instead. Neither of these dishes will win a beauty contest, but don't let that deter you. Chris had the molequiles, which is chilequiles, but with mole sauce. Those were perfection. And we've never seen this dish anywhere else, so we were really excited to find it here. They also have Café de Olla, and it's pet friendly too. I believe it's open from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m., so it's a great spot for breakfast or lunch. Our bill came to 233 pesos, about $13 USD or $17 Canadian. Around the corner from El Porton, we stumbled upon La China as we were walking to find an ATM at a bank. We were drawn in by the appeal of seafood and Marlin tacos as a special. It's a little unassuming from the outside because it is located on the lateral of the highway, but inside is nicely renovated and it's got this beautiful large thatched roof. After perusing the menu and having to stop ourselves from ordering everything on it, we discovered the balazo. It's a seafood shot that comes with shrimp, tomato juice, lime, hot sauce, and spices. Great little appy while you wait for your food. Reaction? Mascarande. Look at this food. 
Chris ordered the octopus aguachile, which is similar to ceviche, but it's marinated in lime and super spicy peppers. I had the marlin tostada and the shrimp tostada. All three dishes were incredible. Our bill came to 540 pesos, which is $30 USD or 41 Canadian. But with that, we did have two beers each, two balazo shots, and the three dishes that came with a ton of food. I think it was pretty good value. They also accept credit cards here, which is not always the case around town. Our next stop is El Bunker Beach House. I don't think I've actually done a feature on this place yet, but we do frequent here quite a bit because it's got a convenient location, colorful atmosphere, really cold beer, and friendly staff. They've really expanded their menu since the last time we visited, and now they have breakfast, lunch, snacks, appetizers, and dinner. They have lots of seafood on the menu, so we had to try the tuna, mango, and pineapple ceviche, which was very quickly gobbled up. We really like the front patio area, which is shaded and perfect for people watching, but they also do have several tables in the back, which get lots of sun. And a few evenings a week, there's live music here too. There's also a few rooms for rent here, which have private bathrooms, fridges, coffee makers, AC, and I think it's really affordable too, around $50 or $60 per night. We haven't stayed here yet, but it's a great location and the owner is very kind. See? Always beer time. Our favorite enchiladas on this trip were found at Taqueria Valeria. It's a side street eatery in Centro, right by the church across from the Oxo. It's a really friendly family that's running this place and it's always lively and packed with locals. I had the chicken enchiladas and Chris had the steak enchiladas. I loved the warm tortillas and they were generously smothered in the red enchilada sauce, which was the perfect blend of smoky and tangy. For two good sized plates of four enchiladas each, our bill came to 180 pesos, which is $10 USD or $13 Canadian. We're now headed across the highway to the east side of town for our next couple of spots off the beaten path. This is La Squina del Sabor, which has great reviews on Google. It was a nice little open air spot and we were greeted right away with big smiles from the staff. The menu is simple, but you'll find lots of hearty choices and good prices. Chris went for the classic breakfast sandwich loaded with bacon, cheese, and look at that perfect egg. I went with the chilequiles verde. I love all things lime and cilantro, and the verde flavor came through strong on this one. This restaurant is very well named. They also have daily lunch specials, and I believe during high season, they have a brunch buffet on Sundays. Our bill came to 280 pesos, which is just under $16 USD, or about 21.50 Canadian. Another morning for breakfast across the highway, we found a little diamond in the rough. Loncheria Paz, which is basically one block behind the Pancakes house. It's a humble little spot that doesn't really look like much and really only seems to be known by locals, which is exactly what we were looking for. I was especially excited about the menu prices here. I ordered the molletes with beans, steak, and cheese on toast, and Chris went with the steak chilaquiles this time. Overall, it's a pretty basic spot, but hearty food and prices were decent. For 220 pesos or about 12.50 USD or $16 Canadian, we got chilaquiles and asada molletes and two big cups of Americano coffee. Back in Centro, we hit up Los Pericos, which may not be much of a hidden gem, but in all the times we've been to Bucerias, we still hadn't visited. So today was the day. I liked that it was tucked away on a nice quiet street. No traffic noise was nice for a change. While we stopped in for breakfast, they are open for lunch and dinner too. The coffee was strong and the green juice was a hit. After eyeing it up at a few other tables, we had to try it for ourselves. Chris had the molletes, which again is two pieces of thick bread topped with beans, lots of bacon and cheese, along with two eggs. I had an omelet with cheese and bacon, and this thing was huge and loaded. If you like the Mexican cheese down here, I think you're really gonna like this place. Our bill came to 325 pesos, about $18 USD or $25 Canadian. It's a little more expensive than we like to pay for breakfast, but the portions are very generous and it's in a nice quiet spot in Centro. I hope you enjoyed our little foodie tour of Bucerias. If you want more like this, I've got two other restaurant videos and a happy hour video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.